Hello my friends, how are you doing? In today's video I'll show you how you can create this unbelievable PowerPoint animation where a Mandalorian helmet is following your mouse cursor. So let's go, this is the way. So my friends, to create this beautiful animation we'll be using this awesome 3D model of Mandalorian helmet. If you'd like to use the same 3D model, link is in the video description. And now let's jump into a fresh blank new presentation where we can start everything from scratch. And first of all let's choose a blank slide layout. And now let's find a beautiful picture that we could use as our slide background. And I have found this awesome looking uh, photo. Once again link is in the video description if you'd like to use it for your slide as well. And let's just make sure that this photo nicely covers the whole slide. And we can just grab one of the corners, hold down the Ctrl Shift keys to expand the photo. And now let's go to Crop Aspect Ratio and choose 16 by 9. Click on Crop to finalize the changes. And now my friend you have an awesome looking slide background. Welcome to Tatooine. And to save some time let me grab these text boxes and that little PowerPoint logo from my previous presentation. And as you can see I cannot directly select these guys because I have placed these elements in the slide master view. And here we can select all of these guys that I have grouped into one group. So let's just copy them and let's paste them into our slide. Okay, that's beautiful. And by the way if you'd like to create these awesome looking text boxes yourself make sure that you're using this beautiful font called Mandalore. Link is in the video description. And let's actually do something that I did for my previous presentation, which is selecting the photo and selecting the text boxes. You can just hit Ctrl A and then Ctrl X to cut everything. And now let's go into the slide master and let's paste all of those goodies into this slide layout. Okay. And the power of using the slide master is that once you create a slide layout, you can apply it to multiple slides, which means less manual work. And at the same time, you won't accidentally select anything that you don't want. And now my friends, let's insert that beautiful 3D model of Mandalorian helmet. And of course feel free to use any 3D model that you wish. And I'm going with Mandalorian helmet because I really enjoy the Mandalorian series and a new season, season 3 just came out. Ok my friends, and next let's do something really important. Let's make sure that our 3D helmet is selected. Let's go to insert actions and let's go to this mouse over tab. Ok. And let's choose hyperlink to first slide, ok? And now once the mouse cursor goes over the Mandalorian helmet, we should always jump to the first slide. You'll see how everything works very soon. And now let's just duplicate slide number 1 4 more times, so that we have 5 slides in total. Alright, so now we have 5 identical slides, that's good. So let's leave the first slide as it is and on the second slide let's grab this little handle in the middle and let's make sure that now the helmet is facing to the top left side of the slide, ok? And now on the third slide let's make sure that Mandalorian is looking to the bottom left side of the slide and now on the slide number 4 let's face him to this direction, ok? And on the last slide let's make sure that Mandalorian is looking to the top right corner of the slide, ok? looking beautiful. Alright, next let's make sure that we select all of the slides and let's go to transitions and let's choose morph transition, ok? And for the transition duration I'm using 0.3 seconds, which is a pretty short duration, ok? And now let's just play the slides and let's see what we have created so far. So now I'm just using my arrow keys to navigate the slides and as you can see the helmet is moving around. But uh, the final thing that we want to create, we want this helmet to actually follow the mouse cursor. Once I go over the helmet, we jump to the first slide, so that's working. But we would like this helmet to follow our mouse. So now let me show you how we can do that. So first of all, let's make sure that we activate the slide guides. And we can do that by going to view and clicking on guides. And these center guides basically divide the whole slide into four areas, four rectangles. And that is really useful. And now let's go into the slide master view, ok, let's go to our slide layout. And now we will fill all of these four uh, areas with four rectangles. So let's just go to insert shapes, let's select the rectangle tool and let's start drawing a rectangle for this area on the top left corner of the slide. 
And if we wish, we can make this rectangle a little bit transparent so that we can better see what's going on. And now let's just duplicate this rectangle. You can hold down Ctrl Shift keys to drag a copy in a straight line. Let's align it to the bottom of the slide. And let's make sure that there is a rectangle for each of the four areas of the slide. And now we'll have to insert mouse over actions to all of these rectangles. So let's select this rectangle at the top left corner of the slide. Let's go to insert actions. Let's make sure we are on mouse over tab. And let's link it to slide number two. Okay. So on slide number two, the Mandalorian is looking to this top left corner of the slide. This is the rectangle that we want, uh, you know, to have this mouse over action. Okay. So let's click OK. Now let's select this bottom left rectangle. Once again, mouse over, hyperlink to slide, and this time it's slide number three. So the slide where Mandalorian is looking to the bottom left corner of the slide. And let's do the same procedure for the rest of the rectangles. Okay, so now we have inserted all of the mouse over actions to all of the rectangles. And now let's make sure that we select all of these rectangles and let's set them to no fill and no line so that they become actually invisible. But those mouse over actions, they will be still active. This is what we want. Okay, so let's get back to normal view. And now as you can see, all of these slides are using the same slide layout. And this is the power of using the slide master because we had to set all of those mouse over actions only once in the slide master. And now they are on all of the slides in the normal view. Okay. And that's super awesome. That saves a lot of time. So let's check it out on the full screen. And now my friends, as you can see, it's working. The Mandalorian helmet is following our mouse cursor. And now you understand that all that's happening is that we're moving over those invisible rectangles and we're just jumping between the slides. And this way we have created this illusion of this uh, Mandalorian helmet following our mouse cursor. So I think that's a really nice touch of interactivity that you could add to your slides. Congratulations my friends, now you know how you can create this unbelievable PowerPoint animation where a 3D model is tracking your mouse cursor. Tutorial slides are free to download from my Patreon page, link is in the video description. Thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video. This is the way.